Welcome, members of the CIA. That's not the Central Intelligence Agency, but the Crazy Italian Army. Welcome. This is your fearless leader, the Crazy Italian, and we're doing the Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. This is the second DLC for the game called Ashes of Ariandel, and I believe this is part six. It's going to be the Corvian Settlement. I'm going to maybe make two videos for this area to make them a little shorter for you. And we're at the Rope Bridge Cave Bonfire. And just real quick, to show you, um, in the last episode we got a new spell, let's see, it's called Snap Freeze, which creates a cloud of near freezing mist, kind of like um, a poison mist spell or acid surge, um, but this one does, um, fr gives you frost damage, it makes you frostbite, frostbitten, you know. And then um, for the weapons, um, we got Val. Valor Heart, which you can see is is a DD scaling, requires 12 strength and 12 dexterity. Um, we got that from killing the the champion boss, grave t champion grave tender. I might have already stated this, but it has a weapon once wielded by the champions of the ended match. Is special paired set consisting of a broadsword and a lion shield. And the champion fought on without rest until he lost his mind in the end only his page and a lone wolf stayed by his side. I may have already said this this weapon. Lend the skill is lion stance while in stance use normal attack to thrust forward with shield up and strong attack to execute a shield bash with a lion's roar. And we also got the follower saber, which has a DD scaling and nine strength, 14 dexterity, and it's a curved sword. Great curve sword wielded by Farron followers. It's a great way it enables heavy handed chain attacks. And I believe someone said this is like a direct upgrade in uh, damage from the Falchion, another weapon that people normally use with a dexterity scaling. And um, its um, skill is prying wedge. And then we also got in another episode the Millwood Battle Axe, which is a 15 strength, 10 dexterity. Um, requirement and it's a C and E scaling and it's a pretty nice battle axe. Battle axe wielded by Millwood Knights. Its blade is blessed by the symbol of the ethereal, ethereal oak. A hefty axe normally wielded by the mightiest of warriors. Skill war cry. The unique war cry of the Millwood Knights entailed a leap straight toward the enemy and a fearsome roar. And the other um, thing, uh, weapon that we've gotten is the follower javelin which is a C and E scaling. Uh, 12 and 12 requirements and it's a light spear wielded by the fo fair and followers and you can throw it um, it's the skill the weapon skill if you use l2 as you can hurl the spear emulate the practice of the followers by throwing an illusionary spear that assumes temporary form anyway so that's all of that okay and um and in the last episode or in the other episodes, we had crossed this bridge and went down the uh, ladder on the far side of the bridge to the depths of the painting. And then we got in a titanite slab by climbing a ladder up that was over here on this side of the cliff. Anyway, this time we're going to um, go over here and go down this ladder right here. Let's head on around here first. There's going to be some fly enemies. There's one up above hanging there. See him? Let's see if I can get him to come down. There he is. Got both of those. Picked up human pine resin from him. And there's a shriving stone that'll um, remove a... Um, Weapon infusion or gem when you put a weapon on there. And then over here are going to be a couple of the Farron followers, I believe. There's a crystal lizard. Get him. Good, I got him. They're not giving you twinkling titanite like I was hoping. They're just giving large shards. Okay, here's the, there's going to be two of these fire-breathing guys. Okay. 
Okay, we got both of them. Now we're going to head on over here and we're going to do a little skiing down the mountain. Here we go. Do 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 Large soul of an unknown traveler, a soul item. And then um, you can take an upward path or a lower path, I believe, but you end up in the same place, so there's no advantage to going low, lower down there. We're just gonna go up here, allow us to kill an extra enemy. And we'll just drop down here. Kill this guy. They're, they're so slow, they're not really much of a threat. Down there's uh, one of those meowers. Let's hit him with an arrow if we can. Oh, he, he got away. He moved where I can't reach him with my arrows. There's an item over here. Budding Green Blossom. That Meowr is spitting poison at me or something. There's something on this guy. Stock them pile. Okay, let's drop die down and um, attack this guy. These enemies are so slow moving, they're not really a threat. I guess they can put out a little bit of a poison mist or something. The bigger, the bigger ones um, are black and um, they can um, squirt a big poison mist. You can see there's an item up on top of this tower. We'll be getting that later by jumping from across from there. And um, we're gonna be um, facing a uh, Corvian Knight enemy, so I'm going to try to throw a report on him. We'll see what happens. These are very tricky guys. They have croak talon weapons, which cause bleed. wasn't too bad. Made me use a flask. The report didn't work. He got on to me too quickly and that report spell didn't work. He interrupted it. So I wasn't able to charm him into being my ally like I was trying to do. There's a ladder around here somewhere. Here it is. Like I said, there's like these white um, forlorn guys, and then there's the black ones. The black ones, I think they both can spew poison at you, but the white ones are much slower at it, and you usually kill them before they sp spray it, where the um, the um, black ones are, will actually spray the poison at you. So come in here and get your ember. And then this is an NPC. Don't kill this guy. Uh, let's see what it says here. Time for strike. I'm gonna rate that poor because you don't want to kill him. Oh no, I'm invaded. Oh, you must be the. Tell oh. him you're rash. Oh, wondrous. Make the tale, my lady must see flame. You are ash. Sure, but that witch fooled the good father after we had all made up our soul. Make the tales true, my lady must s Oh, I am like those. Oh, I am like those. Okay, we've been invaded, so there's an enemy 
in the area that's going to give us a hard time, probably kill us. Um, you don't want to kill this guy because after we fight the last and the second boss, which is the final boss of this area, he'll give us a Titanite slab. But after you beat the boss, he won't be right there where he's standing. He'll be over here, right out here, right there. So you want to come back at the after you defeat the second boss, Sister Frida, and um, get your Titanite slab from him. We're gonna get our bonfire here if we can. Okay, I haven't used many flasks, so I'm not gonna rest to that because then I'd have to fight that Corvian Knight all over again. And there's an item up there we'll be getting dropping down to get that later. We're just going to um, let me think. There's nothing over here. Oh, there's a guy. He's just trying to annoy me. Well, this guy's on my side. Okay, let's go get him. I don't want to fight this guy because he's taking me where there's enemies. I'm kind of mixed up as where I am. Well, I might as well go fight this guy. There's a door we can, doesn't open from this side. Where did I come from? on my side or on the other side? And I guess he's on my side. Fight this guy. I'm not even hitting him, I'm too far away. Got it. 
Thank you, buddy. Okay, let's see if I can remember what I was doing here. Okay, I'm going to just stop here at the bonfire, and I'm going to um, end the episode there. That'll just be an invasion episode, and then we'll be continuing on in the next episode. So please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your fellow gamers, friends, family, and followers. I'd appreciate it.